Alright guys, can you tell which one's fake? Just kidding! In this video, I'm about to teach you the real stuff, including a tip at the end which will basically guarantee that you have found a real LPS. Stay tuned! It's Cece. I know that I've been gone for quite a while. The reason for that is I have been taking some time to celebrate the holidays and also work on a major, major semi-secret project that is going to change the LPS community forever. Really, I'm, I'm serious. Lately, I've come to realize that I am actually pretty knowledgeable at Lilith's Pet Shop now and at this point in my life I kind of prefer making collector type videos a little more than doing skits. I'm still going to be doing skits this year, don't worry. I'm just being honest with you guys that I just really love the collector side of things and helping you guys out with your collections as well. A couple years ago I posted the ultimate guide to collecting Lilith's Pet Shop but in this video I'm going to be answering in as much depth as I possibly possibly can. How the heck do I tell if a Lilith's Pet Shop I find online is real or fake? This question is asked on my Discord server literally every single day. I know that it's very, very daunting for a new collector or someone who's been out of the community for a while just stepping back in and seeing all of these fakes. There are some tips that may be obvious to those of us who have been around for a while, but I know that uh, there's a bit of a learning curve when you're just getting into telling if pet are real or fake. And while there are a bunch of awesome informative guides all around the internet, I wanted to compile every single detail that I possibly could into one video for you guys, as well as some tips that I have personally noticed along the way. Please note that fake LPS have been around for a very, very long time, and in the past it was a lot easier to tell if a fake LPS was fake because they look a little something <laughs> like this, like you can tell. But now, that is not necessarily the case anymore. These are going to be the most up-to-date tips at the time of recording this video, and if any of these tests or tips end up becoming outdated in the future, I will be sure to make a update video or a comment down below. You'll be able to see it. But for now, these are the best ways and which details to look out for. After a bit of practice, you're going to be correct practically every single time. I know this was a pretty long intro, but this is going to be a very, very comprehensive video. So with all that said, let's get started. The very first set of fakes that I'm going to show you today are Great Danes. In my opinion, these are the hardest to figure out, and I have actually been fooled by this before. Sad story, I saw this online for $20. He is a very expensive Great Dane, and I was convinced that he was real by the pictures, but he was not. He's still very, very beautiful, but he is indeed a fakie. Yup, even the professionals can sometimes get it wrong, but now, I'm going to teach you to not make the same mistake I did. The details on fake Great Danes are pretty accurate to the original, so I am actually going to use these as an example for two general tests that you can use for spotting fakes. These are, in my opinion, the most effective ways to figure out if any pet is real, and you can almost always use these tests to spot a fake. One of the main differences that you may be noticing already is the eye shine. If you don't know which LPS are supposed to have glossy eyes, pets number one through 456 are going to have matte eyes. Every LPS past that number is going to have glossy eyes. If you are in good lighting, then you're going to notice that a real glossy eyed LPS is going to always have this really vivid shine to it. And as you can see, you can very clearly see the light source. By contrast, you're going to notice that fake LPS either have no glossy eyes or they're going to have this really foggy looking gloss. It's lower quality. And as you can see, the light source is a lot blurrier 
This is, in my opinion, the easiest way to tell. If you notice from the pictures that it has really glossy eyes and you can clearly see the sun or whatever light is shining on it, then it's going to be real. At the time of filming this video, I have never seen a single fake LPS perfectly replicate this sort of shininess. The next test is to look under the neck. Now, in the past, a very popular way to tell if a pet was fake or real was if they had a clear peg. If they had a white peg like this, then that guarantees that it's fake, but it is no longer necessarily true. While this pet does indeed have a white neck peg, a lot of fakes have been starting to come out with clear pegs, so that is not necessarily an indicator that it is real. And also, we have pets during the later end of Lilith's pet shop. This is a completely authentic Cocker Spaniel, but as you can see, she does have that white peg. So white pegs are not exclusive to fake LPS either. Later LPS like 2000 and beyond, you can find these white pegs and they can still be real. Back to these boys. So instead of looking for a clear peg, we're actually going to be looking under the neck to find a little neck ridge. So real LPS are going to have a pretty defined ridge and you'll notice that this ring is sticking out a little bit. This is a telltale sign of a real LPS. By contrast, you're going to notice that fake LPS, they do have that little ring there, but it's a lot flatter and in most cases, it's kind of caved in. So you'll notice that the neck ridge is completely poking out. This, it does have a little bit of a ridge, but on the inner part of that, it's caving in. This is the most effective way to spot any real or fake LPS, in my opinion. If this ever changes, I will let you know as soon as I find out. Until then, this is the very, very best way to tell instantly if you found a real or fake LPS. Now, one last thing before I move on to the next set of pets is I wanna talk about numbers on their little feet. I'm mentioning this because some pets do have numbers on their feet, but I want to let you know not to get too caught up in if there's a number or what number it is because there are variations even among real authentic LPS. Here is a picture from Jackie on my Discord server showing the same pets and as you can see on the bottom they both have different numbers from even my pets. Now I am not a expert about factory production but for pets that have these it's just like a remnant of the production process. It's not any sort of indicator whether a pet is going to be real or fake and most pets don't even have them. Oh and one last thing uh, for some reason on this pet you'll notice that it doesn't say Hasbro on here. Um, needless to say, every real LPS is going to say Hasbro, and I honestly don't know why this is because all of my other fake LPS do say Hasbro on them, but needless to say, if you see uh, the details on the back and they don't say Hasbro on it, then um, it clearly wasn't made by Hasbro. <laughs> Moving on. To make things a little easier for you guys, I'm going to be showing off next the easiest fakes to spot in my opinion. If you're well versed in what a real LPS is going to look like, then you'll probably see a pet like this and just know automatically that it's fake. But if you need a little more confirmation, I'm gonna share with you some details and one of the best ways to figure out if a Cocker Spaniel is real or fake is by looking at the paint quality. As you'll notice, the ears on Cocker Spaniels are very, very textured and in particular with these dipped ear type pets, you're gonna notice that the paint follows this texture really nicely. By comparison, you'll notice that this is really, really jagged. It looks kind of like zigzag lines. You'll notice this on the other ear as well. The real LPS does have a little bit of overlap over here, but comparatively, there's just not even an attempt. The paint doesn't even go up all the way here. On the back of the pet, you'll notice the same thing. Uh, the lines and curves don't necessarily follow exactly the pattern of the ears, but they give off that effect and on the fake one, they're just zigzag lines and aren't even trying to 
properly replicate the original. Another detail to look out for in face is what the eyelashes look like. So the eyelashes are supposed to curve this way, but in this pig, it's curving up and not every fake is going to have these terrible eyelashes, but if you see bad eyelashes, then you just know. With this set of spaniels, I want to point out some very subtle details up close. Ignore the eyelashes, they were painted on by its last owner, but if you'll notice, the eyes aren't completely filling up the space in the mold and there's a little bit of an edge here. The eyes are supposed to be perfectly lined up with the mold. As you'll notice with the real one, the eyes will completely fill up the space allotted for them on the mold. If we look at the details of the eyes themselves, you'll notice that the color doesn't match up with the authentic version and the flowers are too small and not properly placed. I know that this one has a little bit of blurriness on her eye, but that is just kind of a fluke in the production process. You'll see a lot of LPS that have a little bit of blurriness in their eyes. It's not uncommon to find. But if the symbol doesn't match up or it's misplaced, then that's a really good sign of a fake. As you may notice in this pet, and you're going to see this in a lot of fake LPS, the molding of the head is just flatter than the authentic version. For instance, with the authentic version, you can very clearly see the delineation between the ear and the head. It is a prominent curve. On the fake, it's a little less defined and more flat looking. You may also notice that the head is a bit wider, a little squattier, and if we look to the profile views, as you can see, the snoot and the nose and the chin are very, very defined on the real authentic LPS. On the fake, it's not as defined, and as you can see, the nose is just painted on, it's not even really molded, and the details of the mouth and chin are not as defined, and they have this flat looking appearance. To be fair, this is a really bad looking fake and not all pets are going to be this obvious. But the good thing is that the next pets I have to share with you have a little more subtleties and I'm going to show you how to figure out those two. Here are a set of two dachshunds. This one's real, this one's fake. For this set of pets, I want to talk a little bit about magnets here. This LPS is 139 and she comes with a red magnet. In the very, very early pets, like the first 150, 200 pets, they came with a red magnet and shortly after that, they switched out to blue magnets and then eventually no magnets at all. This pet doesn't have any magnet and it doesn't look like its magnet fell out either. So this is an instant way to tell that the pet is fake. However, I want to make note that this pet in particular and one other is actually an exception and there are two variations of this pet, one with a red magnet and one with a blue magnet. This LPS, which is 139, was the one that was released with the red magnet, but it was actually re-released as LPS 307, and that one has a blue magnet. So if you see one, whether it has a red or a blue magnet, it could very well be authentic. I would just make sure to use other tests, such as the neck ridge, to just confirm that it's real. The other Big Five LPS that has this variation is Cocker Spaniel 252. She was only released once, but for some reason has variations of both red and blue magnets. So with every other Big Five LPS, you're just going to be looking for one particular magnet or no magnet at all. And if it doesn't match, then that is a clear sign. Now, I haven't spoken about texture this much because I'm mostly focusing on people trying to spot fakes just through pictures alone, but if you ever have the opportunity to hold an LPS in your hands and you need to figure out if it's real or fake, then a good way to tell is through the hardness of the head. It's hard to convey through the camera, but if you have an authentic LPS at home, then you'll know that there is a particular texture to these pets and they're also slightly squishy. They have a little bit of give. Um, it's not necessarily something you can see on camera, although later pets such as this Cocker Spaniel again 
are super squishy for some reason. By contrast, these pets, their heart is a rock. If you try to squeeze them, it's just not going to happen. And as you can see, the plastic is just perfectly smooth. Real LPS have a little very faint bit of a grit to them. It's not necessarily something you're always going to be able to figure out, but there's just a je ne sais quoi about the smoothness of the head that sometimes you'll be able to spot. Moving on to this set of dachshunds, can you tell which one is real? It's this one. Ignore the fact that some of her paint has rubbed off. Uh, when I was a kid, I put nail polish on her and some of the original factory paint went with it, so that's why. Now, the detailing on the fake LPS is pretty accurate to the original, with the exception of this one, her eyelashes, the little curvy parts aren't there. So instead of focusing on the paint details, I want to instead talk about the heads. You'll notice on authentic dachshunds that they have the slight little curve on the top of their head. You'll notice in the fakes that this curve is either really, really slight or non-existent. Just like with the Cocker Spaniels, you'll notice that the heads are a bit longer and in this case, also a bit squattier. You may also notice that these pets don't really have much of a chin going on. The reason for that, as we've learned, is that a real LPS is going to have a neck ridge that sticks out and these ones do not have that neck ridge. It's not as apparent, it's flat. In the case of this one, it is totally caving in. And as a result, it makes the whole head have this flat appearance. It can sometimes be a little difficult to notice, but you'll notice on the back of the heads, maybe, the curvature of the ears on the authentic version are very deep set. You can still notice those curves on this one, but they're not as defined. They're a little softer and not as sharp and on this one they're hardly there at all. Next if we take a look at the side of these pets we'll notice even more subtle details. As you can see with the authentic pet just like with Cocker Spaniels it has a very defined snoot a nose and chin. On this fake LPS, you can see it has a defined nose, but the chin is just non-existent. And on this one, while it does have a little more of a defined chin, its nose is painted on and not as defined as the authentic one. Now, there is not this much variation in authentic LPS. You're going to want to see a detailed nose and a detailed chin. If one or the other is missing, then that's a very good sign that you've caught a fake LPS. Moving on to the short hair cats. I know that this one's messed up and she has glossy eyes. She's not supposed to. I put clear glitter nail polish all over her when I was a kid. Just ignore that. The real thing is not supposed to have glossy eyes. Fake short hair cats are usually very easy to spot and that is because the head shape is just really off. If you look at the silhouette of a real short hair cat, you're gonna notice that it has pretty defined cheeks. It has this ovally, almost kind of like a bean shape. By contrast, most fake short hairs don't don't have defined cheeks and this ends up giving them this really round appearance that they're not supposed to have. You'll also notice that the eyes are slightly different. When you compare the real to the fake, you can see that the fake has smaller highlights in the eyes and they're not as defined and they're a little too far apart whereas these ones are just really looking at you uh, makes this one look a little like it doesn't have a soul. The gradient on this fake LPS is honestly really, really good and pretty close to the original pet. And in general with pets that have this kind of gradient, I wouldn't worry too much about finding an exact match because even in authentic LPS, there's going to be a lot of variation with the airbrushing. So unless you find an LPS that is just, the coloring is completely off. For instance, this one. I would not worry too, too much about the airbrushing. Now that you know the head shape to look out for, can you spot the real pet? If you picked this one, then you'd be correct. And yeah, 
just thank 10 year old, 11 year old Cece for putting glitter nail polish on her. Her eyes are not supposed to be this glossy. Now you're gonna notice that there's a little, little bit of variation in the head shapes with these ones. So this one, she does have a little bit more of a cheek than the other fake that we saw because she lacks the defined neck ridge. It ultimately has this flat appearance. And the same thing with this one. She does have a little more defined cheek, but again, her neck ridge is caving in when it's supposed to be jutting a little outwards. Now that you're learning all of these tips, don't you see how easy it is to spot fake LPS now? Again, with the eyes, you can see these two don't match up perfectly with the original. As you can see, the dots in the eyes are not placed in the same way. The color on the eyes are pretty accurate on this one, but they don't match up on this one. I want to give a little note on this real LPS. Uh, I didn't know this until yesterday, but she's actually a bit of a factory error. Maybe if I didn't put clear nail polish on her eyes, she'd be worth something. But as you can see, the iris is a lot thinner and the majority of authentic pets are going to have both eyes looking like this one. And as a little tip, I do suggest that you look online at authentic LPS just to get a good look at what their eyes are supposed to look like. Um, a good website to go to to see authentic LPS is Toy Sisters. I will leave their link below and you can also go to LPS Hannah. She has videos on all of the main five LPS so you can see them in really good detail. Finally, if we look at the side profile, you'll notice that there is not really that much detail to be seen. Even in an authentic short hair, it's a little bit flat. So if you're looking at short hairs, I think the best way to figure them out is by the face shape and also taking a look at the eyes, checking the neck ridge, making sure that the magnets are matching up and aren't a red magnet. She's not supposed to have one. Checking the side of the pet works better for the other main five LPS. Finally, we have reached the Collies. Now this is the only set of Collies which I have both the real and fake versions. Much like the Great Danes, I find that spotting Collies is a little trickier. But now that we've learned all of the tips to spotting a fake LPS, can you tell which one is real? I'm gonna give you five seconds. If you guessed this one, you are correct. And you are now officially really good at spotting fake LPS. Now it's time to do a review of all the tips and how we know that this one is real and these two are fake. As you can see, this pet has very high quality gloss. You can very clearly see the light source coming off of it. This is crisp and this is how the real pet is supposed to look. This pet does have glossy eyes, but as you can see, they're blurrier. You can't clearly see the light source. It's a bit foggier and this one doesn't have any gloss whatsoever. Now onto the neck ridges. You can see that it is there and prominent and sticking out. By comparison, these two have flat neck ridges. This one is caved in and to an extent this one is as well. Moving on to the paint details, there is a bit of a gradient on this pet that these two just don't match. And with gradients, you have to allow a little bit of variation, even with authentic pets, but there was no attempt on this pet, and here the gradient doesn't match up at all. On the bodies, you'll notice that the white fur is just very slightly blended in on the authentic pet, whereas here it's very sharp and there's no attempt at blending. Also, this pet has a little stamp on her leg. You'll notice that while this one has it in the right spot, in the right correct way, this one has her LPS leg printed the wrong way. Moving on to the details of the face, while with Collies it's a little harder to tell, you'll still notice that the curves on the little hair are very deep and defined. By comparison, those curves are not as defined and they're not as deeply set. And if we take a look at the side view, 
you will notice that the real pet has a very defined snout and nose and chin. Now the two fakes are pretty good at matching that, but you'll notice that the smile lines are not as deeply set. And also with this one, the nose is not as big as it's supposed to be. Finally, if we take a look at the eyes here, you'll notice that the placement is just slightly off. With this one, her eyes are not fully printed on the mold. The eyelashes are a little wonky and the colors don't match up at all. With this one, the color kind of matches, but you'll notice the iris here curves all the way around the eye and it doesn't do that here. So, there you have it. That was quite a doozy, wasn't it? But I hope that you learned a ton. If you use all of these tips, you are going to be one of the best at spotting LPS fakes from real ones. Remember in the beginning, I told you there was going to be a tip at the end that will completely guarantee that you'll find a real LPS. Obviously with anything, there isn't a 100% guarantee, but with this, you know, you're very unlikely to be ending up with a fake. You are like 99.9% .9 sure. I'm going to be using a lot that my best friend Morb showed me as the perfect example of this tip. And yes, I do have a little LPS charm on my phone. And I love her. About a month ago, Morph sent a picture of this lot to me and was curious about whether this pet was real or not. Now, the other pets in this lot are real and the price is right, but sometimes that can be a bit of a tip off that the pet is fake. And given the quality of the picture and in a lot of pictures on eBay, it might not be so easy to tell. What are we going to do? Since we can't solely rely on the picture to figure out if the pet's real, we're actually going to use our handy dandy website, lpsmerch.com. I have already searched up Collies and we'll go scroll down to find it. It. Where is it? Here she is. Now, LPS merch is amazing because they show off not only the pet, but the set it came with. You see that this pet came with a bunch of other pets, so we're going to be on the lookout for any of these pets in either that lot or any other lots that this person is selling. Now, this lot doesn't come with any of the pets it originally came with, but if we go and look at the profile and we go look at the listings that they also sell, you can see the raccoon that it originally came with is right here. Now, I don't see any others that are currently listed, but we can also check their sold items to find other ones. Here is a lot that was sold recently, and as you can see, the swan that that collie came with is there. On this one, you can see the original fish, so you can tell using context clues, even if the picture was bad on the original lot, if we only had this picture to go by and we didn't have any other lots from that seller, then it would have been harder to tell by using the power of eBay. And looking at their other lots, we are able to confirm that this pet is indeed authentic. So there you have it. Those are all of the tips that I have for you to spot if an LPS you want to buy is real or fake. If you are just recently coming back to the community and didn't even realize there were fakes, or if you are a brand new collector and want to avoid getting fakes, hopefully these tips will help you a whole freaking lot. If you want to get some practice in, I highly suggest going on eBay and trying to figure out whether visually or with the last eBay tip that I gave you, if a pet that you see is real. And if you are over the age of 13, I highly suggest joining my Discord server and taking a look at the LPS Questions channel because people come there to ask if pets are real every single day. And there are a lot of informed collectors there who will help you get 
get a better understanding of what to look out for. I hope this video was informative for you. If you want to see more videos with collecting tips, if you have a particular question about collecting or anything LPS related, then be sure to leave a comment below and I might make a video about it. I hope you all have a wonderful Saturday, Friday, Wednesday, whatever day you're watching this. And finally, uh, I searched all over my room for the fake CC short hair that's slightly sticky. I could not find her, so unfortunately, you guys are going to have to endure a mini jump scare. So, see you guys. <laughs>